Previously on... Uh, you're messing with the wrong girl here. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, guess you could, uh, uh, control your hair, huh? Yeah. Jewels, eh? Yeah. I'm sorry, but those scars are gross. It reminds me of the time I used to climb trees and scrape my knees. Really? This? Remind you the time you scraped your knees? Just a scrape? Ooh! <clears throat> Yo! You're clean as f- Yeah, sure, uh, clean. Yeah, in fact, uh, you know, that eye's kind of misleading because it looks like you're sparking your eye because of his, uh, his, uh, jewels, yeah. Anyway. You know, I remember on the last episode, uh, for some reason I got freaked out saying, what the fuck is that, but, uh, if I, like, you know, think straight, you know, that's pretty much a cat, right? Yeah, whatever that purple thing is, it's probably a cat. More, it's, it's like anthropomorphic, but... It's, it's like, more of a cat side and a human side compared to this lady, or little girl right here, yeah. I, I guess she's a... No, she's a cat, right? Not a wolf? So, yeah. A a anyway, yeah. You, cat. You, cute. Period. Ah. Yeah. Anyway. Where was I? Oh, yeah, we were hungry, so... Hey, girl, you got food? Yeah? Uh, who the fuck is who? Uh, I think they are carvers. Meow. Uh, then a cow for and a camels? Uh, no. We are both cow furs. Obviously, that was a reply laced with doubt. Adil didn't know for sure what to call Alink. Ah, what are you, bruh? I mean, you're mixed of. Gamels and cow furs, right? Nah, whatever. Y you be you, bruh. You be you. Yeah. I see. It's the fu- or, it's the first time I've seen someone. Isn't that exciting, Camellia? Meow, meow. Is that your little sister? W what's up, bruh? Uh, he couldn't believe she could ask that kind of dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not my little sister. Don't be deceived by her young look. She's my wife. Hold on. Who the fuck is talking who? Uh, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So the meowing girl is the human form, and the one talking is this girl, guy. Girl, guy, I don't even... Oh, okay, so... Uh, 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 okay, I, I think I got it, yeah. Huh? Huh? Question mark? Uh, maybe I need to listen more often to this woman, he thought. Ah, such a cute wife. For how long have you both been wandering this forest? Wait, so... Yeah, you talking, right? Just, just, sorry, just trying to make sure. You're the one who's talking, you're the one who meows, right? Ah, so, I think for a couple of hours, or maybe a little bit more, we walk really fast while we talk through. Uh, meow, meow. All right, or, okay. So, right. Uh, oh my, I didn't notice you were hungry. I have some treats if you want, you know, we can share. The small woman took out some white balls. White balls, jewels, probably not. Pearls, probably yes, that smell like fish. Oh, 
fish balls? Yeah, Ada was not that fond of the taste of anything that came from the water, but she was starving. Oh, oh, excellent. I'm grateful. Hey, Link, bring us some water from that river. Is he your husband? Or he surely is a quiet one. <laughs> he, he's my slave. <laughs> Th that's all. Ada almost choked on the tree she was offered. She was glad Ailing wasn't around to hear that or anything that would give him a else. Meow, meow. That's sure a kinky thing to call your significant others. Huh? It, it was great timing that you both were here. Thank you. Alright, so, you know what, fuck it. Oh, uh, don't mention it. Now we know where to go in the Marla Queendom. I can't wait to buy all those souvenirs. Meow, meow. If heavens allow, maybe we will meet again. May we know your names? I'm Ada and he's Alink. Ah, my name is Azela. Azalea, I mean. And she's Camellia. Wait. You're talking, right? So, okay. Ah, my name is Azalea, and she is Camellia. There is a, or there is a saying in my town that finding another couple during your honeymoon trip will bring you luck. <laughs> I told you, I... Okay, I'm really sorry. Who the fuck? Okay, fuck it. Uh, I'm just kidding, meow. Come, dear, let's get going. Meow? Don't worry, slave. They were just fooling around. Those girls were... Nanus. You probably never heard of those before. Okay, so... They're both girls. Gotcha. So, they're basically... Uh, Yuri Cat Girls. Gotcha. Gotcha, okay. Nanos usually divide into two groups. The one that change into cats during the day, and the ones that change at night. Oh, interesting. It was really lucky for us to find them. They are always traveling, so they know a lot of the world. So, according to them, we should be looking for a way through Old Horn first. There are at least 20 little towns surrounding the Great Forest. One of them is Hinma Pangamos, the birthplace of the vessels. Let's get going before it turns dark. After more hours of walking and walking, the sun was ready to set and Edo couldn't take it anymore. Wait, wait, slave, let, let us have another rest. Already, damn. They really hurt. She took her little flat shoes off to reveal a pair of very bleeding feet. Damn! Yikes, what a terrible view. I will heal them in a blink of an eye. Her feet seemed to be healing really slowly, almost imperceptibly. Damn it, what's wrong with this magic? Ada has been abusing her powers during the day. It's no surprise that sooner or later they will run out. Magic has a lot to do with stamina, so when she is like this... What are you doing, slave? I wasn't ordered you to do anything, where I haven't ordered you to do anything. He... <gasps> she was displeased with the act of her brand new slave. It pissed her off when they try to act by their own desire. But hey girl, you needed that red, so why the fuck not, right? Yeah. In fact, you should be thankful, Dio! Anyway. Don't your feet hurt too? Actually, they did hurt too, or they did hurt too. Ailing was used to doing forced labor twice a week, but this traveling thing was surprisingly exhausting. 
If someone like him, who was used to that kind of roughness, was having problems with the small trot, what could he expect to Queen Amarla's delicate and lazy feet? But he shook his head as a negative to her question. He wanted to keep his stoic image. Why is the slave being nice to me? She thought. Ada was feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe he got an idea of what that Nano's couple said. Maybe she was being too kind to him. Don't expect any reward for this. As Ailing nodded to acknowledge her, she felt a little heartbeat skip. Damn it! Not this again! She cursed. It's my self-esteem that low. To fall for someone just because of kindness is very stupid. She thought, but then again, is there anything intelligent about love? Without giving more room for those thoughts, she decided to talk about something else. Landraga, or Landraga, yes, vessels, huh? Do you know anything about it? Eling shook his head, but realized he shouldn't have. Now, she would tell him about things he didn't care about. Thousands of years ago, when at time the one that ruled the land were the humans, the world was a hostile place. Not only was the climate unbearable for the mortals, but a small portion of the land that were habitable were in conflict. Everyone wanted to secure their lands, no matter how much they stained their hands. Then they came from the heavens, the three gods of orders. Cartanus, Sangrelis, and Long Draga. Conternus took care of the hostile climate and Sangrelas molded the land for them to be habitable. But mortals were disheartened and confused. They had now a great portion of the land for themselves, but for them who had been fighting for so long, how could they use them wisely? Greater chaos fell upon the lands. That was when Lungudra, Lun Dugura, Lun Duraga, I mean, came to their world, wearing their same hide as the Messiah, the god who walks among mortals, put an order into the world with the immeasurable power it had. Races were now separated by territories, united by their tongue. Chaos slowly dissipated from the land. And mortals felt secure. Yet, Lundurag, Lunduraga, nature was always to return to the world. So, from every hundred years, indiscriminately of the race, the goddess reborn once again in the body of a newborn, a vessel, a vessel whose duty is to save the world from the destructive chaos, chaos that. Our current age lacks. Ninety-nine percent of the time, there is no chosen one to be reborn as a savior, but a vessel that was born out of God's caprice. Andraga's vessel can't have children, can't commit suicide. They have to bear the immeasurable power of the God ripping their body, little by little. Trying to peel their flesh like a cocoon, to be reborn not as anything near a savior, but as a being full of sin and ugliness. That's why when the vessel is not the chosen one, twins are born, one to contain Andraga and the other to contain part of his power. Until they die of age, that's their sole duty. Yo, yo, what? Okay, uh. There was an uncomfortable silence after Gamba finished her story. So you are saying you are trying to leave your town the day we found you? For what purpose? The question was harsh. He didn't want to give them ideas that if they traveled together, things would be better. 
to him. Everything sounded like it was going to be out of his control. There has to be something better for him out there, you know? But if, but if we stayed in our town, we would never know. Give up. Give it a rest already. Yeah? Chaco's voice was weak and lacked his usual mean and demanding tone. So it was easier for Gamba to keep pressing for his sake. Look, I know the request is very selfish on my part. But if you could, show him what you two have shown me in these three days. She was pouring her heart, her heart I mean, into those words. That was why she was more scared than usual to be rejected. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know much about the world, nor do I have any special skills aside from fighting. If you need me to protect you both, I could. He was looking at her. Into her eyes. What is this kind of look is he having? She thought. Is he perhaps... Pitting us? If there was something... She hated more than anything was a pity. <gasps> oh, that's so sad. It's such a pity, don't you think, Harry? Oh my god, girl. Why you got us? This girl, seriously, what the fuck? Okay, you gotta read the situation, girl. God. God. Read the air that is flowing right now! God, ah, ah, this girl, this fucking fairy, seriously, goddamn. Ah, still I like you though, damn. I mean, both of you are so cute. And special you, and special you, especially you, you mean, anyway, you're telling my time. <laughs> <laughs> Those long eyelashes and deep blue eyes that brought back and that cute fluffy tail. Oh my god! Uh, I would do you in a heartbeat, damn! <laughs> oh shit, this girl! Uh, Celia? It took a minute for Gamba to understand. <laughs> what? what, what, what? Do me? Uh, what do you want to do me? What? Uh, uh, he, he needs to rest. I could you please don't fucking startle him more than he already is, damn girl. Oh, fine. God, I was just joking, damn. Bruh, I understand. Just, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry she is like that, uh... uh but I, I don't mind much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She didn't mind when she said those kind of things, but Celia seems to know what to do to lift up the mood. She really was something. True, but fine, you got other ways, man. I uh, uh, still, Celia girl. Thank you. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> We can travel together for some time and see how things go. Is that alright with you? With this, I'm not promising anything to you. I just want you and your brother to decide if this is really what you want or what you too want. Inside Harn, there was a string that was pulled by a yes and by a no at the same time. Of course, the no pulled harder, but it was concerning he was letting down his guard this much. It was really... Or was it really pity? Or perhaps empathy? He was once like them too, after all. Thank you. I... I'm truly grateful, man. You have no idea how much this means to us. To me. Hey, uh, clean those tears. Heavens, bruh. You're making a scene, man. Damn. <laughs> Even in this fucking terrible condition, you can't stop being fucking mean, bruh. Damn. That's not funny. Yeah, bruh. 
You will see, bro. Are we look, we will see these lands together, right? Look, Chaco, I promise you it will be better. I. Huh? Ah, this boy. What? Is he asleep? What? Yes, uh, his fever's gone for good, too. My brother's, I think, yeah. Both she and Chaka carried a variety of medicine. From painkillers to green, there it is. Wait, both she and Chaka carried... Oh, it... it are we talking about, uh, Harn? What? Anyway, those were great to heal severely open wounds. That's great! He's really strong after all those days alone in the woods. Okay, we're talking about Chaco. Gotcha. Celia, I... Hmm? Look, girl, I'm sorry I pushed you too this much. About enjoying your travels and stuff. She didn't want to admit it, but she was too scared to wander along with her brother. She had the courage to leave their town, but she felt like the little spur was not enough to keep her moving. You know, I always wanted you to join us. And why is that? Come closer, Gamba. It's better if I tell you this privately, you know what I'm saying, girl? Gamba was expecting... Her to say something uncalled for, so she prepared her mind just to... You see, I'm going to die soon. What? Huh? Uh, and she wore that cheerful white smile as always. Uh, you're joking, aren't you? Uh, damn it! You always get me! What the fuck? Ah! Is it that hard to believe if I smell while I say so? Yeah. Why was she asking that anyway? Wasn't that a joke, Gamma thought? She got a bad feeling. Wait, is it a joke or not? What the fuck? Celia, is that true? Girl, you're scaring me. We Koreans have a long life, very long life, almost 400 years walking in the world. Isn't that a little too much, don't you think? When we reach a certain age, we get this feeling that we want to leave everything and return to the place we were born to, you know? There we spend our last days. Can you imagine? Just a few days to think about what we have done for centuries. Life is unfair for sure. Gamba was still in shock. Was she really telling her she was... Do you get it, right? Well, you do get it, right? For about two years before I met you, I've been feeling like that. And I've been trying to, uh, you know, to have someone travel along with Heron. That boy is completely useless without me, you know. God. But he is not good with people. He was... Yeah, he will always try to push them away. He's been like that since I met him. Sure cry a lot. How can't I, girl? How the fuck can I? This is so sad. What? <laughs> Gamba? It's pointless to feel like that. To me, years pass by in the blink of an eye. I could be gone tomorrow or... It could be 15 years later. 50, I mean, damn. Anyway, I had life of plenty, you know. I don't think I could ever ask for more. I'm full. But, if you could let me ask you something in return for the kindness I have shown you for these past few days, I would ask you to look out for him. How the fuck could I? Gamba thought, feeling scared of any promises she could make. You don't need to ask me right now, nor do I need you to grab me this. Of all the people I've tried to convince, you are the only one with a hundred of reasons to decline. It's kind of funny that this could have worked out better if we, you know, didn't have 
to say these things, right? Yo, what? Celia kept smiling despite all of that. That image burned into Gamba's eye. Good morning. G- good morning, Brett. She couldn't sleep at all. And she was a little lightheaded. When Chaka was delicate, she could feel how that thing's power weaved through her entire body. Like pulsations. Pulsations, right? Yeah, pulsations. Try to overcome her. It didn't help much that she'd had that conversation with Celia last night. She still wished she was joking all along. Before we met you, uh, or we met you, uh, Celia and I were heading to the White Alps, but we took a detour and returned to Old Horn. I wonder where we should head. Do you have any place you would like to go? Would you like to see the White Alps? Celia hates winter. Hmm? Th- that's weird. Uh, for a moment, I thought I was referring to you. What? What do you mean? I'm not asking Celia or your brother. Where do you want to go? It was always her brother or anybody else. There was a point when you had to call out someone who was being this selfless. Ah, uh, I don't really know, man.、Uh, what's there to see in these lands? I'm sorry that I don't have any or an answer for you. What the heck happened to all her enthusiasm from yesterday? Horn thought. Luckily, he felt he could be patient enough to steal some sort of answer from her. It doesn't matter whether you are knowledgeable about these lands, we'll be fine with a little imagination. Imagination? Like, for example, I would love to see blue trees with bright yellow fruits, all of them gather in a forest with black and white striped animals. Gamma wasn't sure where this conversation was leading to, but she was surprised how great this imagination was, and that said a lot about hers. What about you? Is there, like, any color of trees you would, like, you would like to see? She thought and thought. Trees are supposed to be green or red, right? Uh, what about pink, bruh? Oh! Do you like pink? Uh, uh, I like a lot of girls, bro, but t- to me, you know, a pink tree is something out of this world.、Uh, let's see. Harn took out a small book with a thick cover. It says Encyclopedia, with the gold letters inscribed in Babelia. Hmm. There, is, there exist pink trees in the land of Nisa, a week and a half by foot from here. There are really pink trees? What? There are trees of every color but light blue and very light purple. I think the most beautiful trees I've seen are the ones of Palmust Forest. The shades of green and the soft fragrance they emanate in the morning is a spectacular spe- spectac- spectacle, I mean, worth witness. There are also like white trees that grow at night. Those are called Tusas, and、uh, you can find them in the land of Epolia. Every tree is really beautiful in its own way, except for Adapurias. Those stinks like rotten shit. I mean,、uh, poop. Yeah. Harry k e e p talking, and Gamble was listening to him, perplexed. He knew a lot for sure. Was it because of his encyclopedia? Or perhaps.、Uh, have, have you been there, bro?、Uh, to all those places? Huh? Yeah. I've been traveling since I was 14. The world is not supposed to be that big, but it takes time to travel by foot to each place. If you had a bit of luck, sometimes you could find a cart. Fourteen years sounded on age to tender for Gamba. She wondered how old Harn was. He looked like he was something around two thousand years. Two thousand years? What the shit are you talking about, girl? He looks like fucking twi- the twenties. Yeah. Two thousand? What are you even, girl? Ah,、uh, anyway, maybe for Gamba, it's different in age? Ah,、uh, anyway, two thousand, girl? I don't think so, yeah. Then, uh, would you like to go there? 
I think uh, Celia will mind, or I don't think Celia will mind, and I guess you can convince her brother too. Or your brother, I mean, too. Y yeah, I can! I can make it work, yeah! Her enthusiasm was back and Haran felt good about it. A little change never hurt. Good, uh, I'm glad. We should part in a couple of hours, the... No, no, no! Br please wait, uh... I have to, like, check on Chaco, you know what I'm saying? His fever's gone, but he is, you know, all dirty, and he needs some little wounds to be treated, you know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. Hmm, uh, all right, uh, we can wait. For a moment, Harn wondered how old she was. Or was she, I mean? She seems really dedicated for someone of her age. Yo, Chaco, are your clothes ready? The sunlight is perfect for it to drive fast, you know what I'm saying, bro? Uh, damn! I'm glad you're okay, yeah! Just wash my shirt, please, I mean, I don't like the idea of being naked in the middle of the fucking wild. I thought you were fine with that kind of wildness! Uh, what? Who the heck are you? Don't be rude, bro! God, they were... The one who, like, helped us and got from bread. Don't you remember, man? God, just, just be happy with it, man. Del and, oh my god, I'm smirking. What? <gasps> no, uh, I don't remember shit from yesterday. My name is Celia, and I travel along with Harn. We happened to meet your sister back in Old Horn and help her to return to you now. Okay, uh, uh alright, uh, thank you, uh, but, uh, but, uh, you, you too, too close, I mean, could you, like, back it up a little? Like these? No, like, fucking, like, a kilometer away, come on! Can't you, like, see I'm, like, practically fucked, Nick? Come on! Hmm, I think you are, like, five pieces of clothes away from being naked. How do you, uh, enough! Gamble listens to Chaco struggle with Celia's teasing while trying not to fucking laugh. Or, never in her life would she have thought he could make those dumb faces. You wouldn't want me to, like, take off the rest. I warn you, uh, you'll be really grossed out. But I'm liking what I'm seeing, boy, and I get the feeling I won't be disappointed if I do so. Every time she opened her mouth, she said something more indecent than before. Chaco couldn't believe Gamba spent three days with this woman. In fact, I'm glad she did. Yeah! D damn it, uh, just, just go away. Uh, are we, like, really traveling with these clowns? Chaco! Well, Gamba wasn't exaggerating when she said you were a grumpy pup. That's not cute, you know. I don't care. Just go away. Oh, what a bummer. <gasps> Just don't make your sister worry that much again, okay? Uh, 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 uh! Ah! Brett, could you shut the fuck up, damn? Jeez, you're not a kid anymore, remember? God! She, she, she just... Brett, just take it. Damn! Look, that's it, alright? Now we wait for them to dry, alright, bruh? Gabba, uh, are you okay with this? With this journey thing? What? what? Why wouldn't I be, bruh? I mean, it's not like uh, there would be a difference if we were in our hometown or uh, if we were here, admiring the lands. Chaco understood it very well. There was no difference because there wasn't a future for him, and worse, for her. Look, man, I just... I want you to, you know, see it with your own eyes, you know? The beauty of this world is truly breathtaking, bruh. He didn't like when she talked with such blinding delusion. What was out there to be impressed with when you couldn't even enjoy them much? Beauty. Hey, uh, bruh, are you hungry? I can't hold down something for you, you know? Ask me anything. Weather's fine, uh. I'm not that hungry. All right. Uh, ah, sure, bruh, sure. Her brother didn't seem to be that happy, and lifting up his spirit would require hers to be in a better state than it was now. Why do things never turn out as I wanted, she thought, as she went and hunted for some ducks near the river. 
Huh. What? Is someone arguing? It was Harn and Celia having a not so happy conversation. You're like 300 years old, but you aren't able to act like an adult. Even little girls can keep their fucking promises, but you fucking don't. I told you! When the time comes, I would do so good! I don't understand why are you so fucking desperate! I thought you would be able to keep your cool better, huh? You know, I hate liars. Oh, yeah? Yeah, tell me something new! Yawn, yawn, but better later because now I'm fucking bored to death! Better later. Gamble was not that close, but she could hear something about a promise, and thinking back a little bit, she could remember. What Celia promised back in Nago River was probably very related to what she told her yesterday. The thought made Gamble sad again. What was he going to do when he found out? What? Um... I don't want to hear it, okay? I can tell you... I can tell you are going to side with her. No, no, bro, no, no. I, I, I just, you know, wanted to offer you some ducks, bro. I mean, you know, I got three on my back, so you want one, bro? I mean, it's fresh, man. I, just, fresh out of the woods, and I'm saying, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. But maybe he is right. She wanted to side with Celia because she knew her intentions. She wanted Harn to trust her. So he could patch things up with her. Then, Harn spoke. Did you hunt them? They're really big. Yeah, I mean, th there is enough for everybody, I believe. Uh, she, cops three, or she caught three large ducks, but considering Chaco didn't have much appetite and Harn looked like he didn't eat that much. One duck for Celia, a half for Chaco and Harn, and lastly one duck for her. You are really good at that. I'm a bit jealous. I'm not that strong. To begin with, my race was not that powerful. Huh? Is something the matter? Was, he said. But Gamba didn't pay much thought after that. Hey, uh, but you know a lot, you know? And that's really impressive. I mean it. <laughs> you think so? I may look like I know a lot, but I only know about... What I like. Hold on, did you laugh the first time, bro? What? There was a time when I could see, or I couldn't see the outside, like you and your brother. So, when I took the reign of my own life, I decided to travel across the world, to every little town, every big citadel, forest, beaches, even deserts have their charm. There's so much beauty I have yet to see, as long as my feet can take me until my last days. What? Uh, I, I don't know what to say, Brett. Uh, uh, are you crying? Uh, I'm sorry, man. I, I'm not usually like this, but I'm a bit moved, I guess. Yeah. She felt ashamed she couldn't stop her tears. It looked like sh this journey was too much for her to handle in a couple of days. Wait, I think I have something to clean up your face. Uh, thanks, Brett. Yeah. And why did you like me? W what did you mean? Or why did you mean when you said you couldn't see the outside? Ah, oh, shit. Th there's a hole in my back. Th damn it. Uh, okay, uh... Gamma cleaned up her eyes the best she could with her wool shirt. Hey, uh, yo, guy, uh, let me help you. Ah! Oh, uh, they must have fallen from my journal. She kept looking at the bunch of little flowers in different sizes and different colors. Even pressed, some of them kept their vibrant shades. Oh, okay. Are you like... Oh, okay. I get it. Hey, uh, why do you have this many? It's a hobby. For each place I've been, uh, I take one flower and press it. Look this one. Uh, for example, I took this from the old horde. That's why it's still fresh. They're, pr like, really pretty, aren't they? 
Yeah. Really pretty, bruh. Yeah. I know. Why don't you, like, choose one? Uh, 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 uh no! Uh, those are yours, man, I mean... One thing that many people in the world do is collecting things. He can't even share it with friends and family. So, let me share not only one flower, but this hobby itself. I assure you that collecting them will be really fun. Uh, are you sure, man? Uh, if I take one, there will be, like, one list in your collection. Then there will be an excuse to travel to that place again. Okay. Then I will choose... I could choose? What? Ah! Uh, there's so many choices! What is this? Ah! Uh, uh, does this even matter? Does... I mean, they all look, uh... Fine, but... Fuck! What... What should I choose? I choose, uh... 